All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhakwadash. I want to give them my honor of being to the elder apostles, so great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, Shalom to you, Anki Maldera, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhakwadash. All right, Shalom to the, the elect, the 144,000. Okay, so, you know, so here's another update on the prophecy of the MOTB. All right, and, you know, this year, <coughs> excuse me, because, you know, this year has been a very heavy year regarding the prophecy, you know, because through the spirit, the elder of Paul Sahar, he coined this year 2023 to be titled, the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass you see and um yeah man you know uh, uh the, the uh, war tensions in um the middle east you know are getting you know are, they're uh they're increasing you know which that's going to lead to the third world aka world war three all right and the valley of jehoshaphat all right and also too you know the topic at hand you have this up you have this um prophecy of the motb the mark of the beast, man. Okay, and right here, the source is from this article is, is from the source endtimeheadlines.org. All right, and you know, I've seen a, a couple of brothers do a lesson on this already, you know, and also to the elder of Pastor you know. So, uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, seek my teeth in this as well. Okay, so this is the, the uh, article uh, title which says, Thousands are lining up. For Elon Musk's brain C hip implants. Okay. And uh yeah, man, you know, uh people are going to, you know, take this this uh C hip without knowing that is that is the you know um MOTB because people being that they're in gross darkness, they're not going to you know that there's a prophecy of you know of you taking the C hip, okay, and you ultimately taking that that's going to get you a front row seat inside the lake of fire okay let's snag that real quick this is the book of revelation 14 and verse 9 and it says outside of verse 8 revelation 14 and verse 8 and there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, right? The, her wine is what? You know, her, her teachings, her doctrines, philosophies, ultimately the westernization, you know, this whore has spread her legs and opened her legs up to all nations, you know, and, and, you know, and left her mark, you see, but now these nations, you know, are waking up, you know, to, the whore and, and, and seeing that you know she's you know really the whore that she truly is okay because this place is no more being called tender and delicate okay this place is no more you know being deemed as you know that that pretty old america okay america is is you know it, it's gotten worse you see but but that's good because like the scriptures say you know better is the end of a thing than the beginning you know and we're seeing you know, the last go around, the last lap for for uh, America, for Babylon. OK, verse nine, it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man, OK, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive, OK, receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Right. Because it said receive. Right. And right here, it says that thousands are thousands are lining up for Elon Musk's brain C hip implants. Okay. So so they're planning on receiving that, right? And it says, and receive his mark in his forehead, right? And and with the neural link, you know, is, is gonna be a um, a brain C hip implant inside your what? Your uh your head, your um your your uh, your brain. Because uh they want uh because how how it goes they have to take a piece of your skull out of your head or something to that effect and put it and put the C hip inside your brain, inside your head, you see? And it says, and receive his mark in his forehead 
or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right. So you taking that, you know, then you're going to receive, you know, a reserve, a reserve seat and the lake of fire. OK, which is going to be by way of thermonuclear missiles. That's going to be, you know, that's the uh, the um, uh, the fire and brimstone in this new form, if you will, because the fire and brimstone, you know, back in ancient time, you know, it, you know, it was just that it was fire and brimstone. But now this fire and brimstone fast forward to now is going to be in the form of thermonuclear missiles. You see thermonuclear fire. All right. Verse 11, it says in the smoke of, the, of their torment, uh, sitteth up forever and ever. And they and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You see. So, yeah, man. So the people that take that see him, they're doomed. All right. And that's why. That's why it's mercy for us to be in the truth, because we know what the prophecies foretell. We know uh, uh, we know what the scriptures foretell. OK, about the MOTB, you know, about World War Three, you know. Ultimately, about uh, ultimately this prophecy, but you know it's uh, uh, uh impending doom that's that you know, that has yet to you know um hit Babylon, okay. And that's why it's our job as prophets of the Lord to warn the sheep, okay, and get the blood off our hands. You see, and always keep you know the uh, the sheep updated on the prophecy, okay. That's why how shall say if you love me, feed my sheep, and that's how we feed the sheep. You see by constantly. You know, uh, uh, giving something, uh, giving the sheep something to, uh, you know, to watch, you know, to, 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 to meditate on, you know, just to stay updated, man, to not leave the sheep, you know, uh, um, out there in the dark. Okay. So back in the article and it says thousands of people have expressed interest in receiving, right. And receiving one of Neuralink's brain implants, according to a recent Bloomberg report. From one of Elon Musk's bi uh, uh, biographers, uh, Ashley Vance, Neuralink, which Musk co-founded in 2016, has yet to implant its device in a human, but aims to operate on 11 people next year and over 22,000 by 2030. Okay, in Lawrenceville, we, we, we Lawrenceville, we we out of here by 2030. Excuse me, or, or, or before 2030. Okay, now even though no man no man knows the hour of day. You know that Yahweh is going to return, but Lord's will. You know we are, you know, delivered out of Babylon. Babylon destroyed before 2030, man. Okay, and it says according to Vance, who said he visited the company's facility ten times over the course of of three years. It says earlier this year, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave Neuralink approval to launch human trials of its device, which Musk has described as a quote unquote. A Fitbit in your skull, you see. So people are, they you know, they're gonna fall victim to this, man. Okay, people are gonna fall, you know, head over heels for this because people are gonna marvel at it, you know. And and ultimately, you know, this is uh, Esau's miracles, you know, on the left hand side, you know, through his technology. Because ultimately, you know, his uh, um, miracles is through his technology, you see. And actually, let's get that real quick. The Revelation. Revelation 13. And verse 14, it says, And deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast. Right? So people are going to be deceived by this, you know, by this whole narrative of, you know, the, the Neuralink and, you know, the MOTB. OK, because Esau, you know, he, he can pack he, he can package it up real nice, you see, and say, you know, well, like he just said right here, it says it's like a Fitbit in your skull. So people are going to get this, you know, not knowing that they're being deceived, OK, into damnation. OK. But ultimately, you know, the Lord is bringing the people down to judgment, but they don't know that they're being deceived, man. You see, and they said, and that's why, because and, and the reason why they're being deceived, because. 
you know, um, the the uh, the God of this world, the God of this world, has blinded the minds of them which believe not. You see, and also, and also too, you know, they're in gross darkness. They don't know what's going on around here. Okay, they don't know that, you know, uh, privacy, you know, is playing out right here on Earth. You know, they don't know. They just think that they're gonna keep being in Babylon forever and ever, keep working a nine to five and keep living on, raising children, family after family. Okay. They don't know. All right. But that's why, you know, they're just uh, born in vain. OK, so let's keep going on. It says um, the FDA had previously rejected Neuralink's bid for human testing in March. Reuters reported citing safety concerns, including that the wires connected to the brain C hip could move around within a subject's head or that the C hip could potentially overheat. OK. Let's keep going. Let's see. All right. That was really. Oh, here it is. I found it. OK, here's a point that I stated earlier. Now it says. Um... OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... I'm to read this paragraph. All right. It's the. Uh... The fourth paragraph from last. OK, actually, I'm going to start the paragraph above this one. OK, it says the company eventually hopes to make a device that will create a sort of symbiosis between humans and machines and will allow people to send messages or play games using only their thoughts. So what they want to do right here is merge man with machine. They just told you right there. OK, and I believe like I looked it up earlier. A symbiosis a bio is basically when you uh, put together two organisms, something to that effect. OK, you can look it up yourself, but. That's what the whole gist of it is. They want to merge man with machine. Okay. Now, let me just double check that word symbiosis. Yep. So, symbiosis is basically an, an uh, interaction between two biological uh, uh, organisms of, dif of different species. You see? So, they want to uh, merge man with the machine. Okay. And it says... Um, a lot of people to send messages or play games using only their thoughts. Okay. And, and, and that too goes again by his miracles, you know, that that's basically telekinesis, you know, uh, or, or how do you say telepathy, you know, but on the left hand side, but it's through his technology, you see, and, that, and that's how he's going to deceive the masses by, you know, his technology, you know, people are going to marvel at this man. How much more people marvel at, you know, them paying, you know, with their uh with their palm you see or something as simple as you know uh, uh um apple pay you know with their cell phone okay like i said earlier man people are going to fall he uh, head over hills for this c hip okay now let's keep going on it says but first the company aims to help people with neurological disorders see going in about these miracles once again you see he wants to uh heal you you know by way of this c hip he wants to lie to, you know, talk to people, you know, through the C hip, you know, uh, 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 through uh, the brain. So, so he's going to uh, deceive the masses on all levels, man. OK. And actually, you know, they show you that in the movie. It's called Transcendence. And it starred Johnny Depp. And if you watch that movie, it, it shows you how by way of Esau's technology, he has the ability to do miracles on the left hand side. You see? Just like how how Shai did miracles, you know, he healed the sick, the lame, you know, the uh, the dumb, everybody. You know, how Shai did many miracles, but that was on the right hand side. So he saw, you know, he wants to do that on the left hand side. Okay. Now let's keep going. It says, um, it says, um, the company is still looking for his first volunteer or someone willing to have a chunk of their skull removed by a surgeon. So large, a robot can insert a series of electrodes and super thin wires into their brain. Okay. Yeah, so that was the point right there. All right. And Lawrence Walker put the link in the uh, in the uh, description box. So, you you know, if, if you want to read up on them further, you could on your on your own time. So real quick, let's, let's get some scriptures, a couple of precepts and end it off on there. All right. This is, where is it at? New Testament. 
First Thessalonians, or is it Second Thessalonians? Yep, Second Thessalonians two, and in verse nine it says, uh, "Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders." Right. So, so, hey man. So this is this is a uh, case in point right here. You know, Esau is gonna come with, with, with lying wonders. You know, he, he's gonna come with deception. To get people to take that sea hip, you see. So how much more during the hour of temptation, man? People are gonna be deceived and people are gonna be, you know, um, tricked into taking that that sea hip, okay. But also too, that's why he says that he that receiveth, because also too on, on on the flip side to that coin, people are gonna be willingly to take it because you know because they want to buy and sell, you know they want to eat, you know feed their children. So, so people are gonna cave in, all right. But just know that Esau as well, he's going to use, you know, smooth words to get you to take it. That's why he says, he, you know, his words are smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Okay. All right. Now, uh, verse 10, and it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteous and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. You see? So, yeah, man, you know, Esau, you know, he's coming with all deceivableness. You know, and all, you know, uh, uh, lying wonders, man. Okay, through Satan. All right? Through Satan, man. And that's why it says this. Second Corinthians. I got to end it after this for time's sake. I'm on a plantation right now. But uh, this is Second Corinthians 2 and verse 11. And it says, Let Satan should get in advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You see? Of his evil plans, his you know his uh, evil schemes. All right, so don't be ignorant of, of Satan's narrative, okay? Because you know Satan, you know he wants to try to he wants to get you to go off, man. All right, and he saw Edom, you know the elites, you know this is their whole, you know plan, their whole agenda to get the whole world see him. Okay, that's why it's, that's why he said in and uh, in Rev, uh, Revelation three says that the uh, the whole world is going to get tried. Okay, meaning the whole world is going to get tested. Okay, but that's why you want to pray that you know to to Yah Bashem outside, you know, to be protected, to be covered, so that way you know, you know, uh, so that way, you know, the hour of temptation can just you know uh, blow past you, man, and, and that you endure that, you know, endure that, you know, that time of 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 uh, tempting, you see. So yeah, man, you know, uh, you know, Lord's what is edifying, you know, it's the sea hip, hey man, it's around the corner, you know. So yeah, you know. Things are happening, man. You know, you got World War Three about to pop off very, very soon. Okay, the return of Yahweh Shai is about to... It, you know, man, listen, man. Everything is happening, man. You know, the return of Yahweh Shai is almost around the corner. You see? So we live in a very, very, very beautiful times, man. So that being said, I will say, Call Elohim La Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'kodash, and Lord as well, you edified. Shalom.